Essex, Vermont community is on alert after a man reportedly tried luring a middle school student into their car yesterday. It's starting to become a trend. Burlington school officials reported three similar suspicious encounters near their schools earlier this month. NBC5's Amanda Martin Ryan joins us now from Essex Junction with who police are looking for. Amanda. Yeah, Brian Alice, parents picking up their students may have noticed more cars in line than usual at dismissal today. Parents I spoke to say they still feel Essex is a safe community, but weren't taking any chances letting their students walk home from school today. According to Essex, Essex police, the student, a sixth grader, was walking through five corners to get to an after school program at around five last night when a car stopped and spoke to the student offering him a ride. The sixth grader ran to where the after school program was and told a staff member what happened. He told police the suspect looked to be an older white man, possibly in his 60s, driving a black sedan. This doesn't match the descriptions in any of the suspicious incidents reported in Burlington, which is why right now Essex PD doesn't think this encounter could be related. There are always individuals that engage in this um, inappropriate behavior. Uh, I think it's just a coincidence that it's happened as often um, this week. But I think that just in all in Chittenden County, all law enforcement is going to be aware um, and just be more proactive. I feel very safe. I mean, we've got the police officer at the five corners. We have all of the, the crossing guards are phenomenal here. So I felt pretty safe about my kids in their route walking home. But just in case they had heard about it, I wanted to make sure that they felt safe. Essex police say there's always at least one officer patrolling around AD Lawton and five corners at dismissal time. Today, there was an extra presence in the area, which the community can expect to see next week as well. Police weren't able to give any more details on what they know so far, and tonight the investigation is fully underway. I'll have more details about the community's response later tonight at 10 and 11. I'm live in Essex Junction, Amanda Martin Ryan, NBC5 News.